Let's bring in Kyle Little, Sherwood Lumber's chief operating officer. I, I mean, Kyle, I've watched your segments on this show talking about the supply demand dynamics. It, it, it caught a lot of people off guard. How did it shift so quickly? Well, uh, thank you for having me again, Dom. Great, great to be here. Um, we have, uh, you know, been uh, very much in the forefront of what's happening in regard to supply chain. I don't think supply chain was a big word until we started to really talk about it in lumber and how product was getting into the market about two years ago. And uh, we indicated on your show um, uh, in the in the past that uh, we were in a cyclical bull wave and it was going to last for uh, uh, 24 to uh, 30 months. We're in month 25 of that, and we're right now really about a month or two away of confirming of, of finally confirming from a technical perspective that that cycle is officially over and we're moving into a, a new cycle. Uh, and uh, all, all indications are, and, and again, uh, earlier this year, Lumber had even more of a supply chain problem early on this year and was set to actually move to all-time highs, even higher than what we saw in 2020 and 21. And uh, it wasn't able to do so because we've seen a substantial change on, on the demand side and on the supply side. All right. So let's talk about I, I'm, a, I'm a homeowner. I, I put in my deck before the pandemic. In retrospect, the timing looks good. I also use PVC versus wood, but I still had to use wood for the frame and everything else. Should homeowners, should consumers out there go out and start green lighting some of those lumber projects or is there more downside to come? Well, I think in this cycle, and uh, we would say that with the pen up demand and also the backlog of current uh, um, orders, uh, that lumber is probably going to trade in from a historical standpoint, a higher range than what we have historically been. So uh, just to put it in perspective, today the, the forward contract is at 562. The, the 20 year average is below $400. So we still are very, very high based on historical standards. Uh, that being said, and, and we'll, we'll likely go a little bit lower than where we are today, uh, but we are in the process of redefining the new range. We call it in our office kind of the great reset into what the new lumber uh, cycle uh, range will, will trade in over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. All right, and Kyle, before we let you go, you're the expert here on lumber. You're a C-suite executive. Take us through whether or not you are worried about higher interest rates. We're very much worried about that. And any indication that your business will suffer because of Fed policy? Well, we, we, we've already seen that. And that we indicated that uh, earlier on this year. We felt that the first half of this year was going to be very, very good with the catch up of the current uh, um, supply side uh, issues and the demand um, uh, forefront that we had. Uh, second half of the year was gonna, going to be uh, very much in question uh, and of a concern of uh, future growth. Ultimately, we predicted demand destruction. I think we're starting to see that right now. All right. It could be a big trade in the second half of the year here on the home building side of things. Kyle Little, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Have a good day, sir. Thank you, Dominic.